let's talk about how some addiction science is done. <clears throat> in the mid 50s, a guy named James Olds uh, put together this self stimulus protocol where he would um, stimulate certain areas of the brain and show that he could create reward symptoms in subjects, in test rats. This uh, method proved to be very valuable and was advanced through the 60s and 70s into something called intracranial self-stimulation. Now, <clears throat> this shows a syringe here, but originally it was an electrical impulse, electrical impulse going to a, a very special pathway in the brain, a brain called the medial forebrain bundle. And if you did a minor uh, electrical stimulus into the medium forebrain bundle, the animal would get the feeling of a reward. Okay. <clears throat> Now, this is a picture of a rat in what would be called a Skinner box, where he learns to press the lever in order to get the reward. So the rats would press the lever in order to get that electrical stimulus reward. Later on, scientists switched it from electrical stimulation to addictive drugs, cocaine. So they had a syringe that every time the rat would press the lever, the dose of cocaine would be released into his medial forebrain bundle and the rat would get the positive feeling of reward. And these rats would press this bar all day long. They wouldn't eat. They wouldn't sleep. You put a female rat in heat in the cage. They wouldn't mate. They would press that bar until their little paws were bloody, and then they would die. So this is a very powerful tool used by scientists to understand the power of reward.